Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus from Bliss Climbing and today I want to measure some hauling efficiency that is relatable to what should be expected on a big wall. Now, what I want to compare is a couple of different uh, strands that you could use to set up a hauling ratchet uh, or a two to one ratchet or a chongo ratchet, name it as you will. The pulley I will use in these tests is always the Pedzel Partner. It's a quite small pulley but with ball bearings. It's a very good pulley overall for big wall hauling. Thank you Scott for uh, your Scott's wall gear. Um, look at uh, the link in the description, his uh, website, you will find especially the Al Fifi is uh, probably the most wanted piece of equipment that he can deliver. But there's also these two cords, right there is the thin hauling cord. And you see that there's a soon loop at the end, so very handy for hauling ratchets. And there's the thick one. Uh, they are not brand new, I've used them both. And here is what I use to use is, um, I, call, I think it's called the Monster Sling 10 millimeter by Black Diamond. And I just cut a um, soon loop open. And here is a 7 mil cord. I believe it's a mammoth uh, cord. So I will measure the hauling efficiency. On a 55 kilogram load, I will pull one to one. And uh, this is basically what I think is the weight that I put on my hauling ratchet when I haul is probably somewhere around 55 kilograms and measure the hauling efficiency. In order to measure the forces, I'm using the tin deck load cell. I'm using the 150 kilograms. Uh, so very good tool to do what I'm doing right now. So let's test it. All right, so I'm measuring with the tin deck right now. I will put my foot really high and start pulling on the load. And I try to pull steadily like this and steadily upward like this. All right. And I will do the same with every type of cord. And that should do it. Oh, it's a lot of work. So here you see a graph with the load in that direction and the time in that direction. Uh, I've uh, actually compressed the graph so you don't see the pauses between the tests. They were longer than that. But basically one line this side is two seconds so you see that I pulled about five seconds so this is when I pulled regularly up so you see that it's a continuous force that's required to maintain the weight going up and it's a different force in order to maintain the weight going down at the same speed and this is because it's due to the friction you see there's so the thin cord by Scott the thick cord by Scott the 10 millimeter sling black diamond and the 7 millimeter nylon cord here and you see that this one has the poor efficiency because there's a lot of difference between the the force required to pull up and the force required to let it go down and so here are the calculations at the bottom for each of the four tests 
So for uh, this thin chord, I went to average the force between the seconds number eight and 10. You can see between eight and 10, there's a kind of flat spot there. So it's the average and I get 58.9 kilograms required to lift the weight that I estimate to be 55. And in order to go down, I took the average between seconds 12 and 14. So right there was a quite, quite a flat spot. And it was 51.3 kilograms on average. So the load here is estimated using the square root of the highest multiplied by the lowest. And if you do all the maths, this should be the formula you get to get an estimate of the load. Um, the efficiency both ways is the square root of the lowest load here to get it down and divided by the highest load and you get efficiency both ways 93.2 and because I kind of know that it's a 55 kilogram load I can calculate efficiency up which is uh, efficiency up would be 55 divided by 58.9 and the efficiency down you see it's almost the same it would be 51.3 divided by 55. So it's rounded here for presentation, but in the back door, it's all the precision you need. Uh, and here you see the thick cord by Scott. I did the same thing, same thing for the sling, same thing for the nylon cord. And basically you get the most efficient to be the thin cord by Scott. So you can't go wrong there and the 10 millimeter sling because um, it squishes so little because it's already flat over the pulley is my understanding and uh, you can see that in the exact numbers you get a slightly better efficiency with the sling but very very slightly the the big thing between the sling and the thin cord by Scott is probably the, the strength of the material. So I did not use Scott's uh, thin core a whole lot um, yet on walls, um, but I know that the slings, some people uh, have told me that they would snap, but I believe that they used eight millimeter or seven millimeter or six even, I think the beel um, spectra is six millimeter sling wide and so this is really tiny tiny you you have to take great care of the slings that's for sure yeah, but um, the way I use mine I always took care of them on big walls they they go through quite a bit um, and I like them but uh, I I think uh, the thin cord by Scott is probably the thing to try right now and uh, could be very very durable uh, I'd like to know his comments on that and uh, and obviously the thick cord is the sec second most uh, efficient with a 90.5 eff efficiency as you can see here and um, a really sounds really bomber uh, sling and the seven mil is not really what I recommend because uh, there is more stretch in there. So uh, you don't get the same um, efficiency in your pulley system, but uh, it's just to show what you would get with a seven mil. And it's actually not bad with 89% uh, efficiency. Uh, my experience is that if you pull heavier loads, you, you, you get more towards the high efficiencies you can see here. And if you pull some lower loads, for example, you pull uh, um, 10 kilograms up instead of 55, you will get much more difference. 
between the different options uh, is just my experience. And I added a few tests that I've done, um, 55 kilograms again, but this time I used eight millimeter nylon cord, gave me 86% efficiency. So you see that we're dropping a little bit and then 10.2 millimeter nylon rope, uh, 83%. Uh, so we're dropping even more. And over the course of a, a long big wall, uh, this adds up. So uh, getting like 93% or 83% makes a quite a big difference. And just to illustrate what can happen with lower loads, I did um, 10 kilograms with seven mil cord. So you get 86%. So where same cord, but uh, 55 kilograms, you had 89. So 89, you, you lose 3% efficiency there. I hope you like this video. Go by Scott's Wall Gear. The link is in the description. Thanks Scott for providing me both of the cords in order to test them. Uh, be sure that uh, they will be part of my kit on my next walls. And um, yeah, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and go see my website blissclimbing.com where you will find some rope solo online courses and you can also hire me for in-person training. Thank you very much.